Go check out FIFA Coins online for great deals in buying and selling coins on Ultimate Team. Hey guys, Cody Wolf 3 here, and welcome to episode 45 of the Real Dale. And we are back with a bang. We're going to start this episode off with some trading. So let's go take a look in our watch list where we have eight items waiting for us. The first being in a Barba who we picked up for 450 coins. And as you guys know, rare gold players discard for a minimum of in and around 600 coins. So I was trying out a new trading method that I thought might work, but it all depends on the time of day you do it. It wasn't that great for me, but I will show it to you guys later on in this episode. Anyways, the first episode. Uh, proper I suppose player we picked up was Di Natale for 22k sold him on for 27,000 which was a profit of 3,650 the next player up was Chiellini who we bought for 8,700 we ended up selling him on for 11,000 which was a profit of 1,750 and the next player again is another Chiellini who we picked up for 9k sold on for 11k and uh, that was a profit of 1,450 obviously after tax and uh, the next player up is again Again, Chiellini for 9,000 and you've guessed it he did indeed sell for 11,000 which was a profit of 1,450 and in total at uh, the three Chiellinis amounted to a profit of 4,650 and our first big player there is uh, in form Fabregas actually sorry second in form Fabregas who we uh, bought for 131,000 sold on for 155,000 which was a profit after tax of 16,250 so that was one of the big ones that is me back in the trading game and who, uh, what market crash I don't know what market crash is going on. I'm able to uh, trade. Anyways, the next player we have up is Dina Tally, who we bought for 22,000. Again, sold on for 27,000. Uh, bit of deja vu there. Again, a profit of 3,650. So them two Dina Tallies came to 7,300 profit. And our big one of the episode, Antonio Dina Tally, his in form, we bought for 166,000. We sold on for 195,000, which was a profit after tax of 19,250. So big, big profit off them in forms there and a total profit of 47,450 so just shy of 50k for that trading session and this is the method that I use I searched for gold players at maximum price of uh, 200 and I basically looked for the rare players and put a bit of 450 on them and you're probably asking why I didn't just do a max uh, uh, price of 400 and then just put uh, a bid in on all these guys well basically if I did that all the non rare golds would end up showing up and I'd be ages looking for the rare gold so this is what I done and I just bid through and uh, I think I got outbid on about 150. I won in a barbo and ended up uh, I ended up discarding him for like 608 coins or something. So a massive profit there of 158 coins. If you want to try this uh, technique, it might work for you guys. You could do it with non-rare players as well if you search like a max price of 150, uh, 200 on a uh, gold non-rare players. Uh, they do discard for in around 300 and up. So that may work for you. I know that method has been out for ages. I just thought it might work with the whole market crash. And uh, you could even put a bid in on of 500. Depends how much profit you really want to make. But uh, there is profit uh, to be made there, especially with the amount of packs being opened. Anyways, you'll see we did open a silver pack. Got absolutely nothing. It was just one of them free web app gifts. But this is the team just to refresh uh, your minds, I suppose, because uh, this series hasn't been out in a while. You'll see there, Sergio Ramos it did get sent off in the last game that we played. So he's going to have to sit a game out. But uh, we've got uh, the same team basically put in place. We've obviously got Jesse Rodriguez in at left wing, who is a Real Madrid Castilla player. I get asked that question uh, quite a bit uh, in the comment section of this series why there's a dead link, and it's because he doesn't officially play Real Madrid. He plays with their B team. Anyways, in the first game, we come up against a guy with a full Premier League team, a lot of good players in there. Suarez and Torres uh, as the partnership up front. David Silva in there. Hazard and Bale, very deadly out wide. And one minute into the game, it did look all that good for me hazard broke it down the left wing left footed strike near post op and he scores to make it one nil horrible horrible start uh, for my team but I hadn't played fifa and i'd say it must have been about a month it's actually crazy uh, how long it's been since i played fifa last anyways you'll see there uh benzema with uh, actually actually that was lovely build up play and uh, benzema puts it home to make it one all but again, my opponent attacks. He's got David Silva here. And he just beats off Benzema. And he turns inside. I was like a ragdoll there again. Turned inside out. David Silva finishes his absolutely superbly to make it 2-1. But I hit back. You'll see here a nice build up here. Di Maria over the top to Kaka. Kaka puts it in. And who's there to head it home? But Karim Benzema to make it 2 all just on the stroke of halftime. And into the second half. Look at that. For a through ball into Di Maria. He brings his 
keeper out, brings him back, boom, right-footed strike by Di Maria. That is 3-2, that is me in the lead. But my opponent goes on the attack once more. He brought on Balotelli and also Mata. And Mata proved uh, to be decisive there with a clinical finish. And that's actually how the game ended. It was 3 all. You'll see the stats there. They were very close. I had three more shots. We both had the same amount of shots on target. And that means that we are now up to eight points. We are four points off uh, I suppose staying in Division 1. And it looks pretty unlikely that we're going to hit that target for uh, being champion this division one but hey you never know anyways the second game we come up against a guy with the Serie A team uh, obviously his big players in there are Balotelli and Di Natale up front he's also got Chiellini at centre back uh, Bate at right back some very very good players in there and nothing actually happened until the 90th minute of this game uh, there was a few chances here and there but no goals but look at that he got so lucky and Balotelli puts it home and I was absolutely just disgusted 90 minutes and uh, I'd say I probably had the best of the game. I had the better of the chances. Uh, but yeah, he ended up taking the lead. That's just how it goes. Uh, but I thought I could mount an attack here. You see, 1-0 at 90th minute. It does look unlikely. Uh, but I decided to do the passing game. And I know a lot of you guys will do this. Uh, when it's in the 90th minute. And you know that the referee is not going to blow up. If you keep it to a certain part of the opponent's half. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I was just passing around. Hoping for an opening. Thought Jesse Rodriguez was offside there. Turning inside out. I know that if this ball gets cleared. It is game over. So I'm here passing around. Uh, it's going into Kaka. Kaka plays it into Zabi Alonso. And the strike to make it one all. Look at that. The equaliser in the 90th minute. The absolute last kick of the game game absolutely crazy and uh, nothing happens for 90 minutes and then two goals in the 90th minute go figure uh yeah good finish there and the whistle did blow up uh, straight away when i tackled uh, balotelli here referee blew up that was the end it did end up one all a goal by balotelli for my opponent and a goal by Xabi alonso for myself to equalize and that does indeed uh, mean that we are on nine points you see there i had 10 shots of three on target uh he was a bit better at hitting the target with uh, three shots on target but only four shots in total anyways we are three points off safety and the last match of this episode we come up against a guy with a bit of a mixed bag of a team he does obviously have Robin in there who would be his most expensive player by far Ogban and Chiellini as that deadly center back partnership and some other uh, decent enough players in the team but I do end up taking the lead uh, at the very start of the game actually you'll see there Benzema with the nice finish outside of the right foot to uh, beat, I believe it was Marchetti he has in goals. And again here, seven minutes into the game, crossed it in, Di Maria uh, scores with the header. And I figured, hey, I'm definitely staying in Division 1, there'd be no way that this guy will come back. But look at that first strike with Robin with the left foot. Uh, left my keeper with absolutely no chance and uh, you actually see here uh, just after half time I do grab a third uh, to increase uh, that uh, gap to two goals between myself and my opponent but he does hit back again Robin with that left foot oh my god that was the second goal he scored and again here uh, Robin with his trickery plays it into Vidal Vidal strikes it home so Robin really was my downfall in this game and you'll see here in the 82nd minute this is a joke hits off the post bobbles around and the deflection finds its way into the net I don't know how it did but it did Chiellini scored the fourth and I do end up losing my final game of the episode 4-3 uh, again a uh, pretty even I probably had uh, just the better of it but a few lucky goals by my opponent and we're still on nine points but that is it for this episode guys I do hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like and if you haven't already go subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more episodes of the Real Adele but that is it for me I will see all you guys next time